hello welcome to my channel my name is Amelie if you're new here if you're not welcome back and welcome to my second Portugal vlog so we've already been here for about a week so today is day six or seven of being in Portugal if you guys haven't watched my first vlog definitely go make sure to do that because like I said this is the second one so today the plan is to go to Sintra I think and we're gonna explore get breakfast there all that stuff I'm not sure how long we're gonna stay there for we might come back also sorry in advance if I butcher any names if I try to say them I didn't vlog yesterday just because we had a really chill day and it was like a late start and I wasn't feeling the best and then today I woke up still not feeling like a hundred percent so I did a quick little ab workout but I didn't do like a huge workout because I am still trying to stay moving here if you're new to my channel I do all things health fitness fashion lifestyle pretty much everything you can imagine but fitness is a big part of my life so while I'm traveling I do still try to stay moving I'm gonna give you guys a quick little outfit check this top is from Brandy, and then these cargo pants are from Princess Polly. That is the plan for today. I want to remind you guys really quickly, make sure to subscribe so that you guys don't miss out, and you can join this ever-growing community, which I love so much. And with that, let's get into day six or seven of Portugal. We just got to Sintra, and we are obviously down here, and we're gonna walk up to that. So, definitely getting our steps in. We will keep you updated with how the walk goes. Our original plan was to go see this big well in Sintra but the line was way too long and we don't have that much time because we have a cruise that we're gonna go on later tonight. So we kind of ditched that plan, but we're still gonna walk up to the castle. So now we're just walking around the garden. I don't even know if we're midway check-in. How are we feeling? Ooh, it's tough, it's very <sighs> steep. The hair had to go up. That's how steep this is, you guys. We've climbed so far and we're not even there yet. Yeah. But anything for the castle, we're dying just a little bit. We came back to our flat to grab hoodies because like I said, we booked a like sunset cruise but the current weather is very cloudy and very windy and it was raining earlier. So I don't know what to expect. Definitely not gonna be picture worthy, but we're gonna go into Lisbon, get on a boat and see what happens because so far the weather does not look amazing. Sorry for the background noise, but this is the weather that we are dealing with. But that's okay, we're gonna make the most of it. It's not too loud. I'm kind of by cars, but we just stopped and we got food. I got like this huge kebab plate. Now we are walking around and we're actually here in time for this like big festival called Santo Antonio, I think. I'm so sorry if I butchered that, but we're walking around. There's like a big parade going on, lots of like little parties. So we're kind of just exploring the town. Update on the cruise. It actually didn't rain, which is nice. And we actually got to see somewhat of a sunset. So it was super fun, really cold, but super fun. And now we're gonna walk around for a bit and see what there is to see with the parade and the festival and all of that stuff. <laughs>
coffee. Today is either day seven or eight. I'm not quite sure, but I just finished my workout. I really miss the gym, you guys. Home workouts are so effective and so great, and I've been running, but they really make you feel the burn when you have weights, and I don't have any weights. So like today, my upper body workout was just like a bunch of push-ups, tricep dips, kind of stuff like that. And I'm really starting to feel it. And I think just like all of the delicious, but food I'm not used to, like pastries, stuff like that, that aren't in my regular diet that I've been having here. And all the dairy as well, because for those of you who don't know, I'm pretty sensitive to lactose, but then of course, memories over macros, I'll put up with some pain when I'm in Europe. So I've been eating all the food and my stomach is just not quite agreeing with it. So I don't feel the best, but that's okay. Today is our second to last day. So we have today and then we have tomorrow and then we leave Thursday morning. So today is Tuesday, I think. I'm gonna drink this. I really don't know what the plan is for the day because originally we planned to go to Lisbon for the whole day. And then last night we stayed out till 2 a.m. because of the festival and we were like dancing and stuff. So everyone decided just to like sleep in, take a chill day. So most of my family is still asleep. I think I just saw my mom wake up. I woke up, worked out obviously. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm probably gonna start editing this video just kind of working in advance. And I also might go to the beach because I have no idea when they're gonna wake up because I run pretty good on like seven or eight hours of sleep. Whereas my brother and my dad especially, like they're like 10 hours. So who knows when they're gonna be up. We're kind of playing today by ear. Hopefully we do something fun. I will of course keep you guys updated. I think what I'm gonna do is drink this and then take my book down to the beach and read. Very TBD. So I'll update you guys in a little bit when I figure out what I'm doing. I just finished getting all ready for the day. This top is from Addicted and these cargos are from Madewell. I ended up just staying home and editing the video that I just uploaded today. So I uploaded the first Portugal vlog today. So I didn't go to the beach. Now the plan is to go into Lisbon. It's around one o'clock. The first vlog that I posted, if you haven't watched it yet, definitely go check it out because that one's a lot more touristy, I feel like. Like I have the exact locations, reviews, tips, kind of stuff like that. Whereas this vlog is gonna be more of like a few days in my life while traveling, just because today and tomorrow are gonna be a lot less touristy like we got late starts tomorrow. We're just staying around Oerish, which is where our actual house is. So it's definitely gonna be a lot less touristy. So if you're looking for like restaurants and stuff like that, definitely go check out my first video because this one is just kind of gonna be a day in the life or a few days in the life, I guess. Before we get like too much into this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the reality of traveling, at least for me. I love seeing other countries and I love traveling and it's such an amazing experience and I'm so grateful for it but I'm such a person of like routine and habit that I get homesick really quickly because I miss my routine, I miss making my own food, I miss my gym and I would say that I'm definitely starting to feel it here. I think this is day seven or day eight, I'm not quite sure but we're here for like 10 days and that's a really long time for me and I'm definitely starting to feel a lot less confident because to me, it doesn't really matter what my body looks like in relation to my confidence. It's more about how I'm treating my body, how I'm fueling it, how I'm moving it and not having access to a gym or like the regular foods that I eat definitely does affect my confidence. So I'm trying to make the best choices in like a balanced way for my body, of course, and I'm still like moving my body, but I'm really missing like lifting weights and stuff. So it has nothing to do with like how I look. It's just more about a feeling. So when I travel, I notice that I don't always feel the best. So that's definitely starting to like hit me a little bit. And I just miss like my friends and everything back home. So I wanted to mention that because I feel like social media sometimes only shows one side of traveling, especially if you follow my socials down below, which you should, because I post lots of health, fitness, fashion related content. It's a great way to stay up to date with me and this growing community, which I love so much. So definitely follow those. But if you do follow me on social media, you only see one side of the story, which is why I love YouTube so much because 
I feel like I can share more of my life and more of my feelings and stuff because Yes, it's so fun to be in Portugal and I'm posting these great pictures, just like every person on social media, but underneath those pictures are also a lot of other feelings of like missing home and wanting to be with my friends and wanting to be at my gym and stuff like that. So I just wanted to mention that not everything that you see on social media is real and that there's always two sides of the story and that everything is really romanticized on social media. And I wanted to come on here and talk about that while this trip has been such an amazing opportunity and it's so much fun, there are still things that I struggle with, including like body image and getting thrown out of routine and missing my friends and FOMO of being home and just stuff like that. So I just wanted to mention that, put that out there. I'm all ready for the day. We are gonna go to Lisbon get some lunch. I'm sure walk around the city We kind of explored only like one half in my first vlog. So today we're gonna explore the second half with that Let's go to Lisbon <laughs> We are in the Lisbon area, but in like a plaza. I ordered a chicken salad to try to get some protein in. Kai, what'd you get? I got an omelet simplish, so like a simple omelet. Yeah, super good. So we're just walking around, we stopped for lunch, and we're doing some shopping. <laughs> stopped at a place called Mentejeria. Don't know how to say it properly, but this is where my mom... How do you say it? I don't know, but it's not the way you say it. Okay, whatever. Anyways, I'm sorry you guys, I can't pronounce anything, but this is what my mom said is like the best pastiche de nata ever. Again, I can't say it, but here's the first bite reaction. Is that good? It is that good. Lesson on God. Lesson. Okay. It's so good. You guys, they were so good that we went back and we got four more. So if that says anything about how good these are, I don't know what else does. to our last day in Portugal. I think today is day nine. I'm losing track of like how I counted the days, but that's not important. It's around 9.30 right now, and I'm all ready to go on my run, as you can see. And a very exciting announcement, which is kind of really scary, but I officially started my half marathon training plan. If you guys have been following me, you know that I have been saying that I'm training for a half marathon for a really long time. And I have been, I've been obviously working my cardio, doing my runs, doing my long runs, but I never really committed to having like a running plan that will get me to a half marathon in a certain amount of time. But one of you guys actually reached out to me and wrote me a plan, which literally touched my heart. That was probably one of the nicest things anyone's ever done for me. I was literally shocked. 
and I started it. So thank you so much. And so like in 12 weeks or whatever, I will be running a half marathon, which is like so scary. And I will commit. I will stick to this plan as best that I can, even when I'm traveling. Here we are, I'm gonna go run two miles. So I just started, which means that the runs are a little bit easier right now. So today I only have to do a two mile run. So I will most likely pair that with a full body workout. I'm not quite sure because it is later in the day than I usually work out. It's getting pretty hot. So I don't want one to get a tan from my sports bra and two, I also don't want to like die of sweat and heat. So we're gonna see what I'm feeling, but I'm gonna go work out. We're gonna go run two miles, maybe do another full body workout and then we'll see what the day takes us. But I will say today, since it's our last day, we have to spend a lot of time cleaning up the house that we're staying in. We're also just gonna kind of like chill around where we're staying because it's our last day. We don't wanna like over exhaust ourselves. And it's supposed to have really good weather today. I think it's gonna get hot, like 75 degrees with like a really high UV, which is great because we are by the beach. So we're gonna have like a beach day. So today is gonna be a workout, cleaning, and then a lot of beach. I will keep you guys updated, but first let's go on a run. Okay, I just got back from my run. I did around two miles. I like started my workout on my phone to track how long I went. And then I realized it was paused about like a mile in. So I'm just estimating and we're gonna say I did two miles. I made myself a cup of coffee and now I have to start cleaning. As you can see, my bed is already stripped, but it is a pretty big mess. Sorry in advance for this really awkward angle, but we are getting ready to go to the beach. It's like one o'clock right now, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do like my waterproof kind of like beach makeup because obviously since we're going to the beach, I don't wanna be wearing a lot of makeup, but I do wanna wear a little bit just to like give myself a glowy look. So the first thing that I am putting on is this radiant primer from Neutrogena and I just put that on my face. Then, because we're gonna be in the sun, I put on this glow screen and it has 40 SPF. So this is basically sunscreen, but it's a little bit tinted. So it's kind of like foundation, sort of. More like a BB cream, I guess. And I just put that on my face. The next step is putting on this milk blush. This is the one that I like when I'm going to the beach and I just want something like super light and I just like put my beauty blender literally on it and then I put it on my face. And I feel like this just gives me like a more even blend, but I don't know if it actually makes a difference. And because I want more of like a sun-kissed look, I rub it like from my cheeks across my nose and then up to the other cheek. Then I'm going in with this Merit Beauty highlighter. This is literally what I swear by because it's a stick that you just like roll up and then you just put it on and it's pretty much already blended. I just blend it in a little extra. For the most part, it goes on like pre-blended. And I'm sorry, I know you can't really like see what I'm doing right now because the lighting is weird, but I promise I'll show you guys a better finished product when I'm done. I'm also gonna put some under my eyebrows a little bit. And then I'm taking this, it's like eyebrow gel, it's from Benefit. And I'm just gonna brush up my eyebrows. The last thing that I'm gonna do is curl my eyelashes. I try not to put on mascara that often, because I use waterproof mascara because obviously like I'm in the pool a lot, going to the beach, and I've heard that's not good for your eyelashes. And I don't wanna get used to seeing myself with makeup on and like mascara because then it's hard to see yourself without it. And I like to like how I look natural, you know? But because we're on vacation, I'm gonna give in, but I'm only gonna put a very small amount because I'm trying to like wean myself off of it. That's all the makeup that I'm gonna do. It literally took me four minutes. I actually lied, I'm putting on this like uh, Laneige lip gloss. I know this angle is like everything. And that is the finished look. I still have to put on my jewelry. My hair is like literally crazy right now. I didn't wash it after my run because we're going to the beach, but this is the finished look. <laughs> I 
I just got home from the beach. I decided to walk home a little bit early without my family just because I was like really tired. The UV was like nine, which is high even for me. So I'm back home. Sorry if there's an echo, I'm in the kitchen. I am gonna snack on some of these tomatoes. The food here is so fresh. Like these were just from a corner market, just like one of those random ones that's everywhere. And these taste so good, so fresh. So I'm snacking on these. One thing I will say about being in Europe is like my regular food routine is like all thrown off. There's not really a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's more like morning snack, brunch, more snacks and like a really late dinner. So like today I had a breakfast at home when I woke up and I had like one of those protein mousses and like Greek yogurt and stuff. And then we had like snacks on the beach and like brunchish appetizers. And now it's like 5.30, I'm having a snack and then we're gonna go to dinner. So the food is like weird, which honestly I don't mind. I'm a snacker anyways, but that's something that I've noticed is like I definitely have like more dispersed meals and like they're kind of random, but I'm having that as a snack. Since I'm the only one home, I'm gonna take advantage of that and like have a nice shower so I'm not like rushed when my family comes. And we're just gonna chill out for a bit. I didn't really vlog much on the beach cause I was just reading, tanning, I was in the ocean. But yeah, I'm gonna chill out for a bit at home and then we're gonna get ready for dinner and we're gonna go to Kashkesh. Again, I'm so sorry. Like I literally cannot say anything properly in Portuguese. So bear with me, but we're gonna go there for dinner find some food, and that will be our evening. I'm sorry I've been a terrible vlogger today, but we're all ready. We are in Kishkesh. I just did my hair and my makeup, super, super simple. I'm wearing this dress. My brother just helped take some pictures of me, and we are in the like main area, and we are gonna get Indian food, I think, for dinner. eating dinner we went to this Indian food place called Gandhi Palace in Kashkesh so if you like Indian food and you're ever in the area definitely check that out because seriously that was some of the best Indian food I've ever had in my entire life and I'm half Indian so if that gives me any credentials go there now my brother just got ice cream I'm really full still so I didn't get any and we're sitting by the beach just kind of taking it all in for our last night here before we leave tomorrow at like 6 45 for the airport it's the next day and we are about to leave for the airport I'm sorry I didn't like check in with you guys last night I was just so tired we went straight to bed I had like some cookies and stuff for dessert but I forgot to film it but anyways, now it's this morning and we are leaving. This was honestly such a nice trip, such an amazing experience. I love traveling and seeing new places, especially because a lot of you are actually from Portugal and I got a lot of really cool messages about like where to go, where to see, and it was just so cool getting to like experience your country and it was so much fun. I'm sad it's over, but I'm also at the same time ready to get home, back to my routines, back to my friends, my family, stuff like that. With that, I'm gonna end off today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed some of this travel content, lifestyle content. I know it's a little bit different than what I usually post, but at the end of the day, I want my channel to capture memories, be about my life and travel is one of my passions and part of it and you know my whole life isn't just fitness so i'm really happy that i got to share this part of my life with you guys i want to remind you to follow my other social media platforms i have pinterest tiktok and instagram i post lots of content on there i'm super super active feel free to reach out and dm me because i always answer make sure to subscribe so you stay notified because now that it's summer I obviously have a lot more time because school is not on my mind. So I want to post at least twice a week is my goal. So make sure to subscribe so you stay notified. And with that, I will see you in the next one.